All right, welcome y'all to this video on the idealization of your new image, your new goals. So this is some really good material that comes to us from William Walker Atkinson, who some of you know that he is one of my favorite authors. And this particular selection comes from the book Personal Power. This is the very beginning of the Personal Power series, and the book itself is called Personal Power or Your Master Self. And in this book, he gives us different formulas for really creating one's ideal situation. And he was one of the first pioneers in the field of law of attraction when they really started to develop it out into a science. Even though the knowledge went back centuries and millennial, the uh, actual articulation of the process was relatively new in the early 1900s. So he came before Neville Goddard, before The Secret. He was one of the first. And so this process here is all pretty much on one page. And I want to go through this because it's so simple and it makes so much sense that I think it's one of these things that's really good to meditate on. So let's get started. It says the ideal image or thought form is the form in the seed. So it's thinking of this like a seed, like you're planting a seed in the mind, which you wish to materialize into the form of the plant, flower and fruit. The following suggestions may aid you in forming your mental picture. Some of us have difficulty forming a mental picture, so if that's the case, this may help. Number one, idealize the desired things, happenings, or conditions just exactly as they were existent and active at that particular moment right here and now. So think of it as if it were here right now, what would that look like? Right here now before you. Number two, idealize yourself as you wish to be or to do. Three, idealize others as you wish them to be or to do. Four, idealize happenings as you wish them to occur. Five, idealize conditions as you wish them to be. Six, idealize your environment as you wish it to be. So even though you may be in a situation right now that's not your ideal environment, imagine what would that look like? If you were in that environment now, what would that look like? How would it feel to be in that new environment? Seven, idealize your power, strength, and ability as you wish them to be. Here is the method in a nutshell. Number one, discover what you crave to be, to do, or to have happen. Two, form a clear, strong, and distinct ideal image or thought form of such. Three, vitalize and energize this by willpower aroused by desire and stimulated by faith. So Atkinson says that desire is actually the energizing force. So if you can really discover it, it, what it is that you desire, that can actually provide that fire to bring these things into manifestation. Uh, four, project the ideal image or thought form into the ethereal substance there to become materialized. So imagine it, project it, imagine it, occurring now. Close your eyes and just imagine what it would be like to be there. Five, keep the picture clear, strong, and corrected up to date in the same way. So keep uh, modifying it as you see fit. Keep it supplied with continuous interest and attention and energized, again, by desire, faith, and willpower. Seven, then wait confidently and expectantly. So you're, you're 
or imagine it with confident expectation that it is about to occur, we can also relate this to Neville Goddard's Law of Assumption. Um, in its materialization and realization. For lo, your own shall come to you. Y'all, was that, that's not awesome. And William Walker wrote this in the early 1900s. I believe it was 1922 when this was published. And very, very good stuff. Very good stuff. He wrote this before many of the greats wrote theirs. And it just lays this out step by step. By the way, I'm going to put the link below. If you haven't grabbed a copy of this, um, you'll find that link below to grab yours. This is really, really good. If you meditate what it is that you are going after, no matter what the goal is, and you have it in your mind and you follow these steps, just by setting that goal and continually to focus on it, just by those simple actions, the goal will start manifesting. You'll start getting closer to it each day because you're keying it in, just like it says, uh, a seed. And that seed will eventually sprout. But by continually feeding it, your energy, your attention, uh, your desire, using your willpower on it, it'll happen. I mean, this is great, great, great stuff. I mean, really, if you were to just focus on these principles, the seven step process and just keep doing it over and over, what is to stop you from accomplishing your goals? Many people, they think it's complicated, you know, achieving certain goals. But really, if you simplify it, that actually I found is the best way because it blocks out all the other stuff that doesn't matter and you really centralize your focus on what you really are going after. And you imagine these things as if they're here and you idealize them. As he says here, you idealize it as you want it to be. Just the fact that you're idealizing things, uh, from my experience, gives a person energy because that gives you something to shoot after with confidence. If you imagine your life in a muddled state, in a negative state, there's no energy in that. There's no motivation in that. And um, so, y'all, I think this is a great uh, process. You vitalize and energize with the, the willpower and the desire. And it really does uh, help a person accomplish major, major things. So I wanted to share this with y'all. I hope you enjoy. As always, feel free to comment. If you like this material, please like it. And if you're new, I invite you to subscribe. I also have done one of his audiobooks uh, or made one of his books into an audiobook on here. I'll put the link uh, below. That's his willpower book, but a lot of good stuff from William Walker Atkinson. Thank you for joining me on this and hope to maybe see you next time.